السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in 1992 also there was a big 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 conflict disastrous conflict happened in the Balkan region between the Serb and the Bosnian the Kuwait, the Slovenian and the other uh, community in Yugoslavia after dismantling the state of Yugoslavia uh, at this year uh, the war started between uh, Croatia and uh, Serbia and the Kuwait and the Serb in December 1991, where we sent one of our uh, colleagues, uh, Javid Bostam, to send some help to the people in Sarajevo and through the Marhamat and the Islamic Mashiacha. And he met the Grand Sheikh of the Islamic Mashiacha at the time in Sarajevo. Uh, before that, I was introducing through the knowledge I learned from uh, Asad Taha the issue of the Balkan to many donors in the Gulf region to let them to understand that actually there's a lot of Muslims living in this area. So by, uh, by April 6, the war started on the third day of Eid. This is after the people of Bosnia uh, uh, voted for referendum to be independent from uh, uh, Yugoslavia or from Serbia. Here, actually the Serb the Serb, the Serb inside Yugoslavia started to find the Bosnian inside uh, Yugoslavia. This was on the 6th of April 1992, which was the third day of Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr. This war was extremely ugly, ethnic cleansing, call it whatever you want to call it. It claimed the life of more than 250,000 people. 80% of them were Muslims, from Bosnian. Uh, claimed the rape of between 40 to 60,000 uh, a woman and young girls, including a young girl at the age of four, which had been reported in the Guardian newspaper in March uh, 1995, and others, and destroying mosques and whatever you call it. It was very, very ugly and very dirty war. I traveled, well, I decided to travel, and they took with me Mr. Maher Abdullah. Maher Abdullah was the first presenter of a, a, a program in Jazeera called uh, uh, Sharia Al Haya. Sharia and life, and which was very famous at the time uh, as one of the most famous program of uh, Al Jazeera at that time. So we traveled to Zagreb, which is the capital of uh, uh, Croatia, and we met a lot of uh, Muslim organizations there, including International Islamic uh, Relief Organization from Saudi Arabia and others, to explain to us where to go and what to do. And they told us go to a split and go to other uh, cities to. Uh, to see the refugees or the displaced people. At the time, the, 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 the clear demarcation of division was not there between people, so we can call it either refugees or internally displaced people. So we landed in Space Pit. It's one of the beautiful uh, uh, sea resorts on the Adriatic Sea of the Croatia, uh, Croatia. And from there, we traveled to a place called Chernomir, near the border of Slovenia. And from there, we traveled to another two uh, small places or towns called Slovanesky Broad and Bosnesky Broad, the border between, between Bosnia and Croatia. In Chernomir, we met, uh, we went to one of these community centers to see only in the community center or in the, this place, which are accommodating the, the, the refugees or the internal displaced people, only young girls, children, and women, no men. And you can see through the eyes and the world, you look, the state of shock, we came out having nothing with them to carry in this state of shock. And after that, we went to see two places, actually uh, uh, Slovanesky Broad and Posnanesky Broad, to give you the culture of the people of Bosnia at that time. We went to one of these medical units at the border uh, between uh, Croatia and between uh, Bosnia. And you find a young, in this medical unit, or an uh, emergency unit, a young girls, young Bosnian girls, uh, as nurses or sisters. Uh, with them, somebody is protecting them uh, like a soldier. You know, was a soldier, so he was a young man. In the middle of the afternoon, he could not be able to stand up on his feet because he was heavily drunk. And this was the culture of the people of Bosnia at the time of the war at that time. The, this is how they've been brought up in the ex-communist, ex-socialist regime at that time. So, and the man, when he knew 
that we are actually Muslims like himself. He could have to have me, but he could not be able to stand on the street because, and even in his hand was a bottle or whatever you call it in his hand. This was the culture at that time. We came back to split and uh, we were looking for the young Imam. And we went to see one of those young Imams in his flat. And he was young, in the mid of 20s or maybe late 20s. And while he was sitting in his room, me and Ma, some young girl came from another room. I'm not sure if another bedroom or whatever it is. I'm not going to claim that she was his girlfriend or not, but there's a lot of rumors at the time about the culture of the people of Bosnia at that time. So they took us to see some of those uh, families who left uh, Bosnia and came with no husband and no sons and, 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 and went to see some of those families. And when they looked, they came out and opened the door and they looked at us. They were a little bit shy to show us because she came with a very short short, not jean, short and very يعني, uh, a small يعني, a blouse which can show everything. This was the culture, which are not actually trying to judge to be judgmental in the land. This is how the people lived in the ex-socialist communist uh, uh, regime at that time. Uh, we want to see some more uh, com- uh, any, uh, uh, collection point, not collection point, a uh, uh, gathering point or in, in, in sports center and other. We'll find hundreds of Bosnian families are living together in this uh, sports center. And uh, me and uh, 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 may have decided to buy something. We found, we calculate how much you have, and you have a few hundred pounds with us. We bought something for them to maybe some food. I can't remember exactly what we bought, but we bought um, some, some things for the children, to distribute for the children and some very basic food for them uh, to eat as well. And took some photographs to send it back to start to raise fun. While we were in our guest house, which was very, very simple, I saw some face of a man, which I think I have identified him. He was the uh, Grand Sheikh of al Mashikha in Sarajevo, Sheikh Saleh Julakovic. Sheikh Saleh Julakovic came out as a refugee as well, as intended his place from Bosnia to Mostar to Split. And I introduced myself to him and I gave him the offer to travel with us to UK and travel with us to different countries. So to try to raise the awareness about what's happening. He accepted the invitation and we started to make the preparation. I went with Maher, uh, may Allah be bless his soul because he died in an accident later on in, in Qatar. And while we were in Zagreb, we started to contact the people that were going to visit them in UK as well as to visit them in Egypt and other countries. And I used to send faxes, faxes, faxes from Zagreb, from uh, uh, Geneva, when I was Zurich, when we were to, to, to the people, to the Egyptian Medical Syndicate and the uh, people in Qatar and people in UK to spread the news of what's happening to the Bosnia. And our, our aim and our plan and our vision was to start with UK and from UK we can, by, by phone Sheikh uh, uh, Abdullah Dabag, which is uh, the head of what uh, called uh, Qatar Committee for Sponsoring Orphans. And from there we started to plan to go to Egypt and other countries. Alhamdulillah. This is the first journey to, uh, of raising the awareness for the plight of Bosnian people in 1992. And they will see you in the next one, inshallah.